Coming up, a Tanzanian entrepreneur launches a tabloid empire and has the mainstream press on the run. Stay with us. Tanzania is one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. So is the citizens' appetite for trending gossip and entertainment news. Where do they turn to for this information? Africa 54's Paul Ndiho joins us now to tell us all about it. Paul. Uh, thanks, uh, Vincent. Uh, there are numerous uh, media outlets in Tanzania, including dozens of daily and weekly newspapers. The government controls the two daily newspapers and uh, the two main opposition political parties own one each. But global publishers, the publishers of the leading gossip, entertainment, sports, and popular culture newspapers are literally giving other publications on the streets a run for their money. Tanzania is said to have a vocal and relatively free place by standards of the region, and even a criticism of the leaders is often tolerated. In a report published earlier this year by Freedom House, Tanzania was ranked as partly free. As a result, dozens of major daily publications, television stations, radio stations, and numerous internet platforms are thriving. Eric James Ashigongo owns a Global Publishers. When we started this business back in 1998, we were just a group of young people. We thought we should do what is missing in the society. There were newspapers, but they were all mainstream newspapers, the, the political newspapers mainly. And we said, what more can we do? We, we looked at uh, the newspaper industry and realized that there was a gap and the gap was actually uh, tabloid newspapers. Eric Jamsa Shigongo is one of Tanzania's most prominent entrepreneurs. He has a wider variety of venture pursuits, including media, hotels, farming, real estate, and property development. Shigongo's story from poverty to success as a celebrated African author, motivational speaker, despite repeated hardships, is remarkable. We always tell people that we are not in this business mainly to make money. We are in this business to change the community and help the community become a better community. So, in short, it is hard work. Mr. Shigongo has already turned adversity into triumph. Over the years, he has expanded his business holdings across much of the country and employs hundreds of people. We are dealing mostly with tabloids which are covering most of the stories about uh, superstars, politicians, and we do cover a lot of scandals which are going on on the streets. Saleh Ali is one of the senior editors at Championi. I want to be uh, the champion now, to com not competing only, but to be the king, the sports paper, the king. If people they see champion, they say, this is a paper, like if you see Le Caipe in France, mm -hmm. this is what I want to do, and I'm telling you, Believe me, trust me, this is going to be. Like all great entrepreneurs, Shigongo's success was built on his canny ability to spot opportunities and to take risks. He also credits the help of many people along, like one of his trusted friends and longtime colleague, Abdallah Marisho. Mr. Marisho attributes the success of his tabloids to the team of talented young journalists who are deployed on the streets to capture what's happening. Our number one qualification is passion. That's the number one. Do you like what you're doing? Do you think you can, you can be a global journalist? Because a global journalist is somehow different from other journalists, I can say. Because the, our kind of stories is not the story that you, you, you wait for someone to make a press release or to make a press conference for you to take what he's saying and report. But ours, you have to go behind the curtains. Analysts say newspapers in Africa are still king and will continue to play significant roles as the major sources of news, gossip, entertainment, sports and popular culture, despite a declining advertising revenue. Critics say that although the constitution of Tanzania provides for freedom of speech, Numerous other laws encourage self-censorship and limit the ability of the media to function effectively. Paul Diho.
VOA News. In my next report, I will take a closer look at Maxcom Africa, Tanzania's electronic payment solutions a company that is trying to bring various electronic payment services closer to the people through a network of agents called Max Malipo. Back to you, Vincent.